It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning with your host brother Oscar York DeVores, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Every time I wake up in the morning, I fall down on my knees and pray. Well, I thank God for opening up my eyes and blessing me just to see another day. Jesus! 
And now here is our host, brother Oscar. Come on, brother Oscar. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And we are so delighted to be with you once again here on Chatting from the Word. And in our introductory song, you heard Rhonda singing One More Day. Just give me one more day. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It was the psalmist who says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Oh, my friends, sometimes we just take it for granted, don't we? That we are just going to wake up and to be here and granted another day. But this is something to think about, you know. Last night, many went to sleep and did not get up for the count. So, my friend, if you are woke, if you got up, if the Lord bless you to, hey, open your eyes, you are blessed. It's another wonderful benefit we can thank the Lord for on this wonderful, wonderful morning. Yes, 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 my friend. You and I, you and I, we are blessed, aren't we, to have another day. We are blessed that the Lord has given us, all of us, on this time side of life. And we on the top soil, and not the soil on top of us, with another chance, another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right. And to walk closer and closer with him. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes, Lord, thank you, thank you for one more day. One more day. And what are you going to do with that one more day that the Lord has given you? Are you going to swander away and not think about the Lord and just do what you want to do? Which is fine. The Lord says, he, uh, the Lord says, whosoever will, let him come. But that's up to you. But the Lord has given this old guy here another chance. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it right with him. I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay praising up and praying up this morning. I'm going to stay praying up and praising up this morning. What about you? Yes, 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 my friend. Are you going to stay praying up and praising up? We hope that you are. We hope that you are because we never know. <laughs> It's not funny, but brother Oscar, I try to be in a good mood, and I want to be in a good mood, and I am. <laughs> I am in a good mood, and we hope that you all are, too, in a good mood and ready to listen to another episode of Chatting from the Word. We hope that you have your ears on, and we hope that you keep your ears on. Amen, amen, and amen. If you live in the section of the world that Brother Oscar lives in, Dayton, Ohio, West Carrollton, Ohio, the weather people says that it is 34 degrees and mostly sunny. Uh, 34 degrees and mostly sunny. And they were saying on the weather uh, news yesterday that uh, we haven't met haven't received that much snow this this year. And here in Dayton, Ohio, we usually receive snow and snow and a big foot of snow and inches of snow, <laughs> whatever. But we have not received that much snow this year. So I might count the blessing where others wish for snow. But uh, we've been having some pretty good weather here in the uh, Dayton, West Carrollton, Ohio weather uh, area. We just thank the Lord for that. We really, 
really do. And my friend, if you need to be out in the element of things, stay warm and be watchful. Stay warm and be watchful. And as we say, uh, say here, stay praying up and praising up because you never, never know what may occur with so many things that is going around today, people, uh, people just killing everybody. <laughs> Not people, but people, sir, I guess certain people just going around just with these guns that can shoot so many, uh, you know, bullets at the same time, just shooting up everybody. So we, we need to be careful. We need to be watchful. We need to be prayerful as we're out there going from place to place. As I said, I just always pray, Father, take me to my destination and back. Help me, Father. Help me get to my destination and back on this beautiful, uh, beautiful day. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. On this beautiful, beautiful day, my friend, if this is your first time listening to us here on Chatting from the Word, and we hope that you do not make it your last time, come back, come back and listen to us again. And we just want to welcome you to the program. We really honestly do. We want to welcome you to the program, and we want to uh, thank you for having your ears on and we would love to make you our honorary guest. Thanking you for having your ears. And my friend, we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program. We hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program so that you may hear the chat for this morning. Of course, we're doing a continuation of the terror of the, of the Lord taken from Second Corinthians, excuse me, Second Corinthians 5, 11 through 21. And if you've been with us for quite some time, you know we've been teaching on the terror of the Lord, and we've been going to Revelation, where it talks about the bottomless pit, the chain, the thousand years, and we're going to get off into that. Try, we're going to try to get off into the thousand years, maybe today or maybe tomorrow. And uh, we're talking about the terror of the Lord, and we hope that you keep your ears on long enough to hear what we're going to say and what the scriptures has to say when it comes to the terror of the Lord. And we probably uh, begin where we left off on yesterday, and that was in Romans, I believe, Romans, the first chapter, uh, verses 17 through 32, I believe. And so we, will, uh, we hope that you keep your ears on long enough, long enough to hear the and my friend, my friend, if you love what you're listening to, if you love what you listen to, tell your friends about us here on Chatting from the Word. Please do that. Spread the news, spread the news. Let them know that we're on praying up and praising up this morning and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk today. Amen and amen. And we really are blessed to do that. Yes, we are. So share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, those that you're friends with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or uh, wherever, share and share this program, especially if you believe, and I believe it too, that the world needs to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, my friend, all you need to do 
Just look around, look around and see what the world is believing in. And that's all you need to do. Okay, that's all you need to do is to look around and see what the world is believing in and trusting in. Amen and amen. And my friend, if you're wondering where well, you can listen to the program, you can listen to the program on many of our internet networks. Yes, you can. And here is our announcer to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Rule. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast, Fraser, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen, amen, and amen again. If you want to catch or listen to our program, of course, you can go to iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and many, many more. And, of course, Spreaker and uh, uh, Spreaker and YouTube, you can catch our program live. If you uh, care to listen to us live or join us live, uh, you are welcome to do uh, just uh, just uh, that. Yes, yes, you are. You're welcome to do uh, just uh, just uh, that. It is time. It is that time for our prayer time. Yes, it is. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercaseoscaryork3443 at gmail.com or chattingfromtheword at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page on Facebook page on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. Sweet
Amen. And amen. Again, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send them to those entities our announcer just announced. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name, and I'd be just so delighted and so pleased to do uh, just uh, just that. Again, this is our prayer time, and our prayer time scripture would be found in 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 15 through 23. That's 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 15 through 23. And our brother Paul the Apostle, he penned uh, these words. See, that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus, Concerning you, quench not the spirit, despise not prophecies, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the end, unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Paul tells us here that we should pray. Pray without ceasing. Continue praying to the Father. If you like Brother Oscar, I, I pray numerous times a day. I have a conversation with the Father. Even if just offer up this one phrase, say, help me, Lord. Lord, get me out of this mess. <laughs> Lord, I wreck my step. And lately, then, I wreck my step. I pray that every day. Not, not the fact that I, I want to go this way, but, Father, I want to go the way that you are directing me to go. And that makes a difference when your will becomes his will, and you're in tune with the Father in the name of Jesus this morning. Are you ready, my friend, to approach the throne of grace? Let us humbly approach his throne this morning. Sweet our Father, Father our Father, sweet who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Father, we this morning allow you to know that, Father, we recognize that you are a merciful, loving, and wonderful and precious Father. And Father, we just come this morning. We just come this morning, Father, thanking you. Thanking you, Father, for so many benefits that you have given us this morning so far. Oh, Father, we just want to thank you this morning. Thank you this morning for waking us up, Father, giving all of us on this time side of life another chance. Another chance to make what's wrong in our lives and to walk closer and closer with you. Father, Father, we thank you so, so much for that. And Father, we thank you so much for 
you alone, your only begotten son, your love for us. Allow you to allow your only begotten son to come down from the beauty of heaven down to this sin sick world to show us how to live, to show us how to love and to help us to connect with you. And for you allow him to take upon himself and he himself faced the cross, becoming sin, taking our place, taking and washing our sins away, helping us to be much closer and closer with you. And Father, we thank you, thank you so much, Father, for that, for that sacrifice. We really, really do. Oh, Father, we come praying for all the disastrous things that happen in this world in which we live. Earthquake and divers of places, storms and fires and ripping homes and families apart. All the mass killings and killings, Father, that's going on in this world, Father, we pray for each victim and each victim family that to help them to look towards who look up to their help and their help comes from you. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for war, rumors of wars. We pray for Russia and Ukraine. We pray for armies in Israel, Father. We pray, Father, that they seek that peace, that peace that brings about an understanding. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for of any boy, any girl, any man, any woman who wants to accept Jesus and be added to the body of Christ this morning. And we pray for they do it before us everlastingly and eternally uh, too, too late. And for all we pray for those that lost loved ones. We pray for all that you comfort them. For we pray for those that lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who has given their lives in the line of duty, Father. We pray also for their family that you comfort them. Father, 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 we just pray. We just pray this morning. Yes, we do, Father. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders, Father. We recognize, Father, it's not an easy task to 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 lead a, a nation like this. But Father, we pray as always that they never make laws forbidding us from worshiping you, but make laws where we all can live in peace and in harmony. Oh Father, Father, we just pray, Father. We pray for the church once again. Father, allow the church to continue on being the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Yes, we do, Father. Father, we pray for all their doubts and fears. Father, we pray that you cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't resurface anymore. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for our program this morning, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us to keep this program on the airways. Father, we pray that you help us to keep on chatting about your Word and from your Word. And Father, we pray for our message this morning, the terror of the Lord. Father, help us this morning that we may say something to help someone, to lead someone in the direction that they should go. Father, help us that we may say something to help those to find you and that's in sincerity of heart. Oh, Father, just help us this morning because we do need your help with each word that we say. And Father, we pray for those that are going to some troubling times. Father, we pray for those, Father, that are having trouble in the home. 
Pray for those who are having marital problems. Pray for those who are having financial problems. For we pray for those who are having problems on the job or finding a job. We pray for our young people, Father, today. In the world that we live in today, Father, young people are having troubles. Oh, Father, we pray for the troubles in the church. Help the church may remain being in the church. Help the church remain being a vessel for you to lead others to Jesus Christ as we are following the example laid in the Bible, Father. Oh, Father, Father, we pray, we pray, Father, for those that are constantly teaching and preaching your word. And I'm especially saying a special prayer for a brother who asked me to pray for his work. But Father, we pray for every work that's going on, Father. And we pray for every work that, Father, wherever Satan may draw to at them, that they may overcome it and continue on teaching and preaching your word. And Father, as always, as always, Father, keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. We want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we prayed for something uh, that is on your mind. And as I continue saying, if you have a prayer request, you can message it to me or either use any other entities we have mentioned from time to time. Oh, my friend, what time is it? What time is it? It's time for our chat for this morning. The terror of the Lord taken from 2 Corinthians 5 verses 11 through 21. Are you ready, Brother Oscar? Brother Oscar is ready. <laughs> I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. And as I continue saying, this is the best part of the program for me, is when we are chatting from the Word of God. Because I believe that the Word of God is the most important word we can obey this morning. Not only just read it, but obey it. And many, many do not look at it like that because look around us, we see the, what the world believes in. And, uh, most don't know what to believe, and, and most just out there believing anything. Uh, but the Word of God is the most important word that we should believe, but not just on believe, but be in obedient to God's word, especially if one day we want to make heaven our home. And Brother Oscar recognized in the world that we live in today, uh, people is not making uh, that easy to do nowadays. Uh, even if you are in the ministry or even if you are being a Christian, sometimes the world still tries to make it difficult. But my friend, what you need to recognize when the world begins to make it difficult for you, in that sense, that's just Satan trying to win you back over. And that's the way I look at it. When, when uh, <laughs> I don't want to say brothers or sisters, but when, 
when people tell me about my program. So my brother asking this and that about my program, or if they tune me off, I just look at the fact that that's just Satan trying to make it hard for me and for me to keep going. Not to give up, but to keep going. And that's what I try to do here, unless I get real sick and too much pain and, and stuff like that. And then you know, if I'm not on, uh, that is uh, the reason I am I'm in the hospital or uh, something, and lately that has been uh, the many of the reasons why I, I don't come on. So, but we want to thank those that have been, uh, you know, listening to us and those that have given me some good feedback. I do appreciate your feedback and and those that have really loved our program. And as always, if you have a question that you want Brother Oscar to answer here, uh, if you're confused by the things that we study, you can ask questions. You can message me uh, on my messenger page about what you're confused about in our studies. Because I know many of you are confused, and many of you just cut it off and just don't just don't even much uh, listen to the whole length of the program and. And Brother Oscar recognizes it's a long, long program. It's our program. And I just hope and pray that you stick with us in this hour where we can praise, pray up, and praise up uh, this morning. Can we pray up and praise up this morning? Oh, Brother Oscar, hope uh, that we can do that this, uh, this morning. So get relaxed, get relaxed, go ahead on, have your favorite drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be. We ain't talking about the horror stuff, now throw that out the window. And get relaxed. If you relax, you recline, you shall recline on out. If you're more relaxed sitting at your dinette table, go ahead and have a seat. But what we request of you is to have a copy of God's Word so that you can Study with us in our studies this morning. So if you don't have a copy of God's Word, pull one up or go get your Bible so that you can see what we are talking about because Brother Oscar just don't want to say anything knowing that we as teachers of the Word are under greater condemnation. And I just don't want to, I want to teach God's Word as God says in his word this morning. And if I'm ever off, oh, somebody tell me, Brother Oscar, you didn't say that right. Uh, Brother Oscar, that's not in the Bible. But I have the word of God to prove your statement that, that I'm wrong at. Prove it by the word of God, and that's all I ask. But as you open your Bibles, open your minds to because at times it takes an open mind to study God's word correctly. But many of us, we're stuck in our traditions and what we've been believing or told by our mothers, fathers, grandmother, grandfather, or whatever the, the, the case may be. And some of us have been believing what we've been believing for years. And when we hear something differently from what we believe, uh, many of us, we want to either won't accept it, or we argue against it, or we just don't pay attention to it at all. We just go by with, oh, that's good, Brother Oscar. Uh, you said something good, Brother Oscar, but we don't want to do nothing about it. Uh, we don't want to change when it comes to our soul uh, salvation. So I hope you have an open mind as we study God's Word in this study that we've been doing on the terror of the Lord, and of course, we've been taking our main scripture from uh, 2 Corinthians, verse 11, is where we've been taking our text from, and from this one text, of course, we've been exploring other verses to prove what Paul is saying here, the terror of the Lord. And here Paul said, knowing therefore, Paul said, knowing therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade, we persuade 
men, but we are made manifest unto God, and trust also are made manifest in your consciousnesses. Here Paul is telling us and the Christian, the Corinthian church, Knowing that for the terror of the Lord, I'm persuading men. And if you know something about Paul, Paul, Paul went to the point of his persuasion where he's begging them in tears to change. Oh, that's what God meant to Paul. Paul said, and many times, I beseech you to do what's right. And brothers and sisters that's preaching the gospel, brothers that's preaching the gospel, sisters that's teaching and uh, teach what you make, sometimes we need to beg and beseech people to obey the gospel. And then after we told them with tears, leave it alone and let God do the increase. Yes, we can continue on telling them about Christ, but if they reject it, Christ rejects them. And that's just point blank. If one is rejecting the gospel of Jesus Christ, if one is rejecting what is contained in the word of God, they are rejecting God themselves. And they're going to be subject to the terror of what Paul is talking about here. So what we did, we went to Revelation. Have you been with us in this study? We went to Revelation and we are... Uh, we are stepping with the book of uh, Revelation and what John says in chapter 20 about the bottomless pit. Because if you are one of them that do not want to accept Jesus, if you're one of them that don't want to believe in Jesus, if you're one of them that don't want to follow the example that, 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 the, that the apostle laid out for us, in the Bible, you will be a, you are subject to the bottomless pit. And if you've been studying with us, we, we say the bottomless pit are those that are continually, continuing falling into false teachings, are following false, uh, false teaching and following false teachers. Let me repeat that. The bottom of this pit are those are continuing, following false teaching, and following false teachers. Now, be honest with yourself. Are you one of them? Are you one of them are caught up into something that you believe in that, that's not according to God's word? And I said, if you're one of them that believes something that's not according to God's word, you are falling and falling and falling and falling because it is taking you away from God. It is taking you away from God if you believe something that's going against the word of God. And on yesterday, and I said I was going to, to begin in Romans, we left off reading, uh, taking our thought from the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman church. And here Apostle Paul is let uh, uh, the Roman church know who are subject of uh, falling into the bottomless pit. Of course, the other day we talked about Jesus himself said that the blind shall leave the blind, they both shall fall into, into the ditch. They both shall fall into the ditch. And my friend, the catch is, are you following a false teacher that's teaching contrary to the Word of God. Let me repeat that. Are you following a false teacher that teaching things contrary to the Word of God? 
And you, you may ask me, I'm taking this one in a different direction a little bit because this just came on my mind. And you may be asking, well, brother Oscar, how do I know the difference between what you're teaching and from what somebody else teaching that's false with? First of all, are you following something that giving praise to God? Or are you following something that's giving praise to man? Uh, that, that's the first thing you should consider. If you're following somebody that's teaching something that's giving themselves praise, that giving another name praise, and that giving God all of the praise, you're following false teaching. If you're going somewhere where, first of all, you see on the building, some other name instead of the body of Christ, the church of Christ, and I'm just going to put it out there. First of all, you're following a belief that's not putting Christ first. Because Christ is the head of the church. No man, no woman, no saint, <laughs> no saint. Uh, no Saint Elizabeth, no Saint Rose, or whatever one wants to call himself. Christ is the head of the church. So if you saw, if you are in a place that's not giving God to praise, you need to get out of it and look at the body of the church of Christ. Romans 16, 16, Matthew 16, 18. Colossians 1 and 18, and I can continue on going, that if you are in a, a good place of talking about salvation, first of all, look at who they're giving reverence to. And then look at their teaching. Look at their teaching. Look at their doctrine. Is that doctrine following what thus says the Lord? Because the Lord tells us that we should follow the example of the apostles. Are they following the example of the apostle? Or are they following the world? And this is what we want to read in Romans 1, beginning with verse 17. Though we read verse 17, but we want to uh, get a good understanding of what Paul is trying to convey to us here. Okay? Here, Paul, and I want you to listen to it. Read it along with me. And again, too, I want you to be honest with yourself. You're doing these things. You need to stop and get yourself right with the Lord. And that's just the bottom. That's just the truth of understanding what God wants from us. Okay, and then Paul starts this, this section out like this. In verse, oh, I see. Let's go to verse, let's go to verse 17. And Paul, in, in Romans 1, verse 17, Paul says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and, un and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest, uh, is shown, is made known, that's what manifest means, in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the uh, creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. What, what Paul is saying that they know the world, the word, they know the way. But some want to dilute the word, dilute the way, because 
They wants to make merchandise of you. If Brother Oscar can put it like that. They know the way, but they're not willing to follow the way. And this is what Paul is saying. Paul said the way had been known to them, but they just don't want to do what is right. They just don't want to follow what is contained in the Word of God. They want to follow their own uh, thinking and their own way instead of following Jesus Christ. Don't be fooled. Those people that call themselves this and that, and they're a member of this church or that church, and if it's not according to Scripture, they know there's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. And then if you really talk to them and listen to them for a long time, they don't know what to believe because they are confused themselves. They talk about the one way, but they're against other ways. They say other ways is all right, but they talk about the other ways, and they'll say that it's all right. But my friend, the way here, Paul saying that it has been known to them, but they refuse to do what is right. And then he said, they are without excuse, without excuse, knowing the way, but refuse to do what is right. And then Paul says in verse 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. As I said, uh, Paul said it became vain. In other words, they become teachers. Uh, they, they begin to teach themselves. They begin to teach things to make them feel good, and, and at the time, they can you feel good also. Okay. So they then start teaching vain teaching because of themselves and making themselves somebody which they should be preaching about Jesus Christ and him crucified, not about them. So in other words, they have moved away from the truth and teaching false teaching. And as I said, you must be honest with yourself. If you're following one of these false teachings or false teachers, you need to get out of that and be in the body of Christ as the Bible calls you to be. And then in verse 22, Paul said, professing themselves to be wise. They become fools. So we're going to stop here. But let me note this here with you. Many in the world today, they would try to teach you their wisdom, their ways. I hear it on TV. I see it on Facebook. I see it on other things. Most people are having faith in what they, these actors are doing or these talk hosts are saying. And they're having faith in that when that faith should be totally in Jesus Christ, when that faith should be in obedience to Jesus Christ and his words. But men today want to be wise, want to call themselves wise as God. Are they not God, my friend? And we need to stop following them as they are God and follow the word of God. Amen, 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 Brother Oscar. That's all I have for you today. We kind of detoured off a little bit and making it, I guess I would study a little bit longer, but we're going to get there. <laughs> we are going to get there, but we're so delighted that you joined us, and we hope that you come back tomorrow and listen to the rest of our chat so that we may pray up and praise up together. Amen and amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, now be thy name. Thy kingdom is here. Thy will is being done. Father, we just want to thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the airways. Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to teach and preach your word. Father, we hope that we, and pray that we are hitting the hearts of men so they may get 
we may have a better walk with you. And Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray that you be with them, go with them, help them to walk with their snap, crackle, and pop and each step that they may take. Now may the grace of God, so we commune of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless. Just a man that I should show.